Oh, hi there, and welcome back to Minecraft. It's, um, well, it, it's been a while, but we're back with a brand new series and a brand new world. And what an awesome world this is going to be. I've missed a few updates, so there's going to be lots of new things to explore and discover. And I've got a few things planned for the series overall. But for now, I'm standing here with nothing but air in my pockets. Let's get the basics out of the way, shall we? Well, now we've got some basic gear, I wanted to address my gap in content. As many of you diehard fans will know, it's been almost three years since my last Minecraft Let's Play. And at the time, I said I was taking a break. I just didn't expect it to last this long. Truth is, I, I, I've been really busy. You know, I've got two kids now, the youngest is almost 18 months, and parenthood, it does take up a lot of time. But I think I'm now back in a position where I can start making content again for you guys. Maybe not as regular as before. Honestly, I, I don't want to promise even once a week. I will try my best. But, you know, sometimes it might take a few weeks between videos, other times maybe just a few days. I'd much rather spend more time to make a good video and rush to get it mediocre one out. So, you know, I hope you can just bear with me. But if you want to make sure that you don't miss a single upload, then don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Okay, so moving on. I found a spot which I think is pretty cool. Uh, really close to where we spawned too. Actually, it's just under the side of this river. Sea? Ocean? You know what? I've not travelled far out enough to know. 
It's on the other side of the water. It's got potential, right? I think we can live here. I'd like to make quite a large base here eventually, but for now, we'll have to make do with just a starter base. Now, I'm thinking we lean into the water aspect and do a waterside dock base, but we need some materials first. I think we're going to light up all of this. This place is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Right, I think that's lit up enough for now. I've got to say, I'm not really a huge fan of torch spam, but you know, needs must at the moment. Don't want to get caught up by any pesky creepers or any other mobs for that matter. I'll make sure to go back later on and hide some of the lighting so it can look a bit better. But for now, let's make our starter base.
You know what? That's not bad. I mean, it's nothing special, but it will do to store our chest for a little while. We've got a small farm going, so it shouldn't starve to death anytime soon. It's only wheat at the moment, unfortunately, but we will get more farms as time goes on. And we've also got lots of water for fishing, so early diet looks like it's going to be mainly fish and bread. I'm liking the look of the building, if it can be called that. Most of it's outside and bits inside don't really have any walls for protection against the elements. But I mean, we're in a cave. It's not likely to rain down here. I think though, my favourite part so far is the pathway. I wanted to use dirt variations for this part, as I want it to kind of feel run down and forgotten. There's going to be lots more builds as we go around the cave, and as we go deeper, I plan to make them grander and better, uh, better maintained. As for the builds in general, this is a solar world, there's no server, there's no other players, so I can't trade with anyone. So I'm going to need to become self-sufficient rather quickly. I'd like to build automatic farms that can produce as many materials as possible. The only problem is, with so many farms in such a small area, it might cause some lag. So we're going to need to be clever and implement as many off buttons as possible as we go along. We're also going to need to go in search of key locations for materials that can't be farmed automatically, like sand or villages. Um, and to be fair, it's been a while since I've played Minecraft, so there's probably a lot of materials I don't even know about now. Drop me a comment with any farms that you think we should build or materials we should be searching for. I read all comments and have tried to apply to as many as possible. Anyway, enough of me babbling on. Let me leave you with some closing cinematics of the build so far. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.